What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Chris. It's your boy Justin. And we're here today with the Bet Cheese Podcast. We're going to be discussing off-season stuff, in-season stuff, uh, anything pertaining to the NFC, period, and mo- mostly the NFC North. And uh, we're just giving it, giving a perspective from the fans' view, like real fan comments, real fan thoughts and we, you know fans stink dumb stuff sometimes so we're just gonna just we just gonna discuss stuff from a fan's point of view and what we would like and what we see and what we notice and what we dislike and it's just you know like a chill little podcast for the sports world yeah but the main thing we mostly gonna be focusing on is obviously bad news packing news <laughs> And, uh, but the first topic that we want to get at is you said you wanted to do off season wrap. I mean, end of the season wrap up. Yeah. I know we in March and we done got through free agency yeah. and the draft is almost here. But that's the what we're gonna start at. And you want to go first? Or you want me to go? We let you. you said the best. Okay. All right. So we can start off with the uh, end of the season for the Chicago Bears. Obviously, we have an entire new look team. So yeah. a lot of this stuff is gonna be. Hindsight, but the main thing I want to focus on is mostly Matt Eberflus continuing as the head coach of the Chicago Bears. I completely and totally disagree with it. it I don't think he did enough for me at the end of the season yeah. to keep his job. Yeah, I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I know a lot of people say that, oh, he handled adversity well and all that other sh- he put us in the adversity. <laughs> right, right, right. We right. lost a lot of those games because of him and his head coaching decisions. I feel that, yeah. And I get it. Continuity was uh-huh. the thing that they was press. They was speaking on at the end of the season presser. Mm-hmm. But I just don't see it now. You being a Packer fan, looking at us at the end of the season, what did you think with us keeping him? Keeping Eberflus? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I feel like if you know, because I feel like y'all knew the plan for. This upcoming season before last season ended. So yeah, I feel I like you yeah, should yeah. start off with a new coach. Start I, off with a new everything so, if you're going to get a new quarterback. And that was my main thing is that I thought we was going to completely clean house. Right. A whole new brass because Kevin Warren comes in. He starts middle of the season. I'm sorry, last April, I believe it was. And that's when Ted Phillips retired. And I think we should have just, okay, Kevin Warren hires his GM. They hire their head coach. Everybody picks their quarterback. Yeah. That way we're all on the same accord. Now we have a situation where Eberflus is probably on a hot seat still. Still. I don't care if still. we draft Caleb Williams. I Poles, don't care. Y'all GM named Poles, right? Yeah, right. Poles, Poles is on the hot seat too. Poles. I think Poles bought himself probably about three more years mm-hmm. with trading Justin. We're going to get to that. 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 But he should be on – he shouldn't be on a hot seat for me because, right. and this is completely flipped on what my original thought process was on him, but he completely redid everything. Yeah. I he built that, yeah. the team for his quarterback. For he sure. never built the team for yeah, Justin. For sure. But that's what I got to say about the end of our season because it's not really much I can say because. <laughs> but we know. We, it's a completely revamped team. For sure. Yeah, we know. But what's, what about you and uh, Green Bay? Ups and downs. Uh, going into next season. It's amazing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, like, last season, from start to finish, the beginning, yeah, played against y'all. I was there. Yeah. Torched. It was crazy. Torched. It was crazy. I was there, too. <laughs> so, it's like, it was cool yeah. seeing, getting a new quarterback. Yeah. Being there for his first official start. Yeah. And beating y'all. Yeah. That's three and one. Crazy. Yeah. But then we had a little slump for, like, four games. Mm-hmm. It was crazy, and I, I was on the. I was, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a, I'm a fan. Like I stated, I'm a fan. So it was like, damn, he a bust. You know what I'm saying, yeah, he and, had a slump. And me being a bad fan, yeah. It, look, I'm not typical with the rest of them. Yeah, I always said Jordan Love's gonna come in and be a B plus quarterback. Right, I always knew it. Right, That's right. what he was in college. Right, sitting behind Rodgers was only gonna make him better. Yeah, yeah. But I nah, and then. No, Goody put that fire on his ass. Oh, yeah, he he said, we're going to evaluate off. him from here to the rest of the season. <laughs> yeah. Activated that boy. Yeah. Activated that boy. Destroyed every team. We, you know, we had losses, too. No, but yeah. it was close losses. Uh, see, so now, with that being said, now teams know. For sure. Yeah. Now teams know. Yeah. 
I think that's what the main thing was is y'all caught a lot of people off guard. A lot. Playing that good of football with him on the center. Yeah. Nobody was expecting that. Everybody was expecting But But, you know, I, I think what caught people off guard is the wide receivers that stepped up. Mm. Bo Melton. Yeah. No, Dontavian yeah, Wicks, yeah. Malik Heath. Jaden Reed, Christian that Watson, everybody is on rookie. Romeo that Dobbs, is terrifying that everybody is on rookie. And like all, all our wide receivers is like under twenty five, some yeah. shit like that. Yeah. So it's like it's scary. Nobody is getting. Nobody's bigger than nobody. Everybody's yeah. equal or below, yeah. and it's it's a tight gap between that below and equal. No, and towards the end of the season, went to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect that. I wasn't expecting that either. Definitely didn't expect that. In the season nine, and eight, I wasn't I expecting that ass beating on the Cowboys. That's what I was not expecting. I expected us to beat them, but not that bad. Not that bad. Fuck them. Not up. That we, bad. Un- <laughs> we unlocked some shit on them. Not him. that bad. Some characters that on them. Yeah. That was a thrashing. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and we lost to the 49ers, which is kind of a norm yeah. for a Packer fan. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. we lost. We was 30 seconds away from going to the NFC Championship. No, yeah, y'all was. Well, no, y'all was. It was 21-24, right? Yeah. And 49 was up. They was up. But yeah, I'm saying like. What, so what, Jordan Love was out down the field. From the lab drive. Aaron sure. Rodgers. Regular, regular. Rodgers shit. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's. Just, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he threw the pick at the end. Yeah. I can't I can't get mad at it. It's yeah. First year starting. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. expecting that. I, when it happened, Triple I said. coverage is crazy, but you know, hey, it happened. Across the body is Across crazy. the body. Across the body, <laughs> triple platform. coverage against the 49ers <laughs> defense is crazy. This is insane. But, uh, but, yeah, going to the next season, I feel amazing, though. Uh, yeah, as, as you should. As a Packers so it's, it's Y'all have an extremely bright future. I don't know why people aren't talking about bright y'all future actually is. For sure, yeah. I mean, but then that just goes back into the development of Jordan Love. Is he have a sophomore slump next year? Is he not what the hell he displayed the end of this year? What what I don't like though what? is like I hope he doesn't get a crazy contract and be a well. Y'all, what was that deal that y'all just gave him though? Uh, it was like when Rogers left? two years for twenty four million. Okay, so this year is really his. He he, he finna get an extension, yeah, but yeah. he got to get in like May because you got to do it a month. I mean, a year from the last time you had a contract. Gotcha, 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 so gotcha. okay, so I just hope we don't give him nothing crazy and then he busts. See, but that that'd be the most crazy. packer thing possible. That would be the most packer thing possible. But I think we I think he in good hands though. Yeah, I like I think Goody. Good hands. I think Goody is doing better for y'all than Ted Thompson was for sure. All right, yeah. heading into the off season. Yeah, heading free agency. You go ahead. Y'all had a good free. I'm not a Packer. Listen, I'm not a Packer bell hater. I hate the Bears. Like, I'm three people away. I'm a Packer fan. I'm three people away from, like, my back being done with Packers on my back. Like, tattooed. So, I'm really a Packer fan. (laughs) I'm just not a – I hate the Bears. I'm just not the type of fan that's in denial or yeah. a hater type fan. No, you know yeah, you always, man. And to be honest, and that's I, why we did this podcast is yeah. because we level headed on the same. I can court. say the same thing. I can't stand the Packers, it's but I can't take away the reality of what the situation is and understanding football. But going into our off season, yeah, we trade Justin. I feel like he sat on that for a long time. You think? Did you think? Did you know y'all was gonna do that though? Yeah, hell yeah. I knew we was going to trade. I knew we was going to trade Justin. I was just getting scared the longer we went into the mm-hmm. offseason without it happening. Because y'all let a lot of people, yeah. a lot of the people that were supposed to get him. Get I thought he was going to be gone at the combine. Gardner missed you? Gardner I'm, missed I'm you like, how you. the fuck? Bro. That was crazy. When I, but I knew it was over when I saw Mac Jones go for a six. Yeah. When Mac Jones goes for a six, that's now the quarterback market. Yeah. We wasn't getting nothing extra for him. Yeah. But they say it was better deals on the table. He asked Justin, which is a stand-up thing about him, but I don't think it's going to come out later like, oh, he left the third on the table. <laughs> right. He left the third Hell on the no. table. <laughs> what, was, what did you think y'all was going to get in return from him? For At him? the end of the season, you couldn't have told me that we was not going to get anything less than a third. And what, did, what was I saying the you whole time? Your motherfucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> I literally was telling this man, <laughs> y'all aren't getting more. The most y'all to get is a third. And they was under their impression the, the least they would get is a third. I, I, but the thing, well, I remember when the report came out during the season. Yeah. It, well, at the end of the season anyway, um, Atlanta was going to give a first. And I said, 
that don't even make no damn sense because Atlanta didn't even have a coach or a GM Crazy. to make that decision. Crazy. But that fooled a lot of Chicago fans. Yeah. Justin's worth the first. Justin's sure. worth the first. Justin yeah. was never worth never, the ever. first. Never, ever. He didn't take enough of a step to display anything to he was still make him be a first. Justin should be sitting behind somebody right now. It's the best thing for him. I think he still has a bright future, a higher ceiling. I think he might. I think his ceiling is higher than Trevor Lawrence's ceiling. Do I think he'll ever reach that ceiling? I don't know. But he has more. He's more. He has more intangibles. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel he that. got a lot of intangibles and. You see the flashes. The flashes was always that. That's what we fell in love with. That's that ain't, that ain't what gets you over that, it's that not. hump, though. It's not. Flashes need to happen every game. And that's he need why. to be flash around this motherfucker, if that's the case. Exactly. And but that's why the city is stuck behind that. Yeah, I that's feel why that. the city was and, stuck And that's why us, the fan base, fuck Packer fans, or uh, the whole NFC North feels like, he sucks. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because like when we play y'all, we yeah. like, oh yeah, that's a W. Yeah. We see the schedule and be like, that's a W. That's two Ws. Because yeah. because he sucks, and and because y'all like whole operation is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be lost in the sauce. It's insane, and it's no fault of his. Yeah, it's not not at all. Not, it's not no fault all. of his because he comes in on a lame duck season for Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace. You fire them at the end of the year. You bring in a new GM. That's not his quarterback. Yeah, he no, does yeah. not have to do anything around him. For sure. He yeah. did exactly what he came in to do. He blew the team up. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Reset everything. Yeah. And he gets some DJ Moore year three and say, yeah, go figure it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy to me. But, you know, yeah. I mean, it's not it's not his quarterback. No, for sure. So, but moving on, our offseason, we had a DeAndre Siff, Keenan Allen. The Keenan Allen pickup bothers me. In more ways than one, it's not really the injury history or nothing. Because I know he's gonna come People in. People get injured, bro. Exactly. I don't. I don't get that. That don't. I, I it doesn't bother. That. Me. And in that. the last four of five years, I think he four or five. He's had hundred catch years. Four of the last five. Hundred catch years and thousand yard season. And uh, thousand yard season. A little yeah. bit under, but yeah. I mean, but neither here nor exactly, there. Exactly. He he's working. He definitely. Oh um, hell yeah. What I don't like is the contract not being done prior to him getting here. And I understand he's 31 years old, but you traded a four for him. On top of y'all already not having any draft draft picks. No draft capital. I don't get it until the deal gets done. If the deal gets done, great. But the same thing happened with the Montez Sweat trade last year. I was pissed off that it didn't happen as soon as he got here. Because it's like trading – for a 31-year-old with a history of injuries mm-hmm. with on a, like, one-year deal type shit yeah. without getting nothing solidified or some future stuff. But they said y'all had talks about yeah. an extension and shit. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but, we better have But, like, bro, what I don't get is, is, like, during a rebuild, yeah. that's what y'all in. We in a rebuild. Y'all rebuild, right? Yeah. So if you want a rebuild, doing signing somebody at old is crazy. See, and that's another thing. I don't. That's another reason why Justin had to go. Yeah. We're in year three of a rebuild. Right. You re-sign Justin because you got to pick up his fifth year in May. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. You pick up, if you keep Justin, now we're in win-now mode. For sure. This yeah. team is not a win-now team at all. For sure. Hopefully, Caleb Williams comes in yeah. and is everything that Caleb Williams is supposed right, to be. Right, right, yeah, yeah. That's a, but, yeah, DeAndre Swift pickup, I don't hate it. I don't necessarily love it either. See, Okay, now when it comes to that for y'all, I just feel like y'all could have did better than that. Yeah, y'all. That we was the reset. first. That was the damn near the first deal done of free agency. Oh yeah, y'all go for Swift. Well, you got yeah, Saquon, right. Josh Saquon. Jacobs. Saquon got sixteen million. I knew y'all probably wouldn't give him that. Yeah, but y'all got a bag to play. We with. gave him ten million. I still don't get it. <laughs> I still don't get it. We. I don't get it. David Montgomery got what six million? Six, and Montgomery is better than Swift. To That's me. a better running back for sure. It's a better free Monty. <laughs> <laughs> free Monty. David Montgomery is a better running back, but that's two years ago now. I yeah. can't talk about it, but that's in essence that's what we did. We swapped running backs with yeah. Detroit. Yeah, he went to Philly for one year. Uh huh. So I, I just and in the Ryan Bates signing, yeah. Decent, but he a backup. He he didn't he didn't. Y'all traded the bills with that. We traded a fifth for him. 
more than draft capital. Y'all keep we trading gave draft capital, and then y'all got y'all got Kevin Byer. Which how, is how I, I like that, that signing. It's good for the secondary. Cool, it's cool. Replacing Bojack, but I if it was up to me, I would have tried to just restructure Bojack deal. And y'all got Jonathan Owens from us. Yeah, solid which Packer team, fans, man. you know, the Bears usually yeah. get our old players every offseason at least y'all one. Y'all sign our players too. Who we sign? It's been a while. Who was the last? <laughs> <bit>? Right. <laughs> <laughs> then y'all got Gerald Everett. Now listen, yeah. when they picked up Gerald Everett, I was like. Oh, the Bears on some shit. Because yeah. Gerald Everett, is a, he a good player, bro. See, and it's crazy. It's a good tight Cole end. Komet is so good. Right. And now you add a second tight end. Gotta I to get go. that two tight end set going, bro. You see it's what crazy. we do with Luke Musgrave? It's crazy. It's about to be crazy. Bro, it's about to be, it's about to be, about crazy, to be crazy, man. Bro. For us not to be in win-now mode, this offense is going to be very, very explosive. Right. It should be. Because if you look at the way Seattle run, they offense... They were and y'all got his ball. old, y'all got his old coach, right? Yeah, Shane uh, Walter. And he our offensive coordinator. Yeah, I'll see. That's gonna be cool. They we were move, they were moving the ball. They was trying. They was passing. They was trying. They were not running. It's just that they didn't have. It's Geno. Yeah, it's Geno. Yeah. So I, I see what Seattle. I watch a lot of Seattle games because they yeah. show that a lot for that mid yeah. that mid window. Yeah, so I, I watch yeah. I, I watch Seattle a lot. They cool and uh they cool. Y'all got uh Cole, Coleman Coleman Shelton. Got like Coleman Shelton. <laughs> Bro, let me look at my notes. <laughs> you don't even know. Don't, it was a lot of like death pieces that Ryan Pole started. Mr. Rainey yeah. said slam. Yeah, that's coach. why I put the key sign. Amen Og Og Bong Bima. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. He from uh, the uh, Chargers. Yep. The, a lot of this was just death pieces, yeah. which we needed yeah, after sure. you know, like you need after every season. Yeah. But um, what about y'all and y'all off season pickups? Hmm. Now look, let's go. Let's go, Aaron Jones for us. Oh, we uh, re-signed Dante Pettis too. I like that a yeah, lot. Yeah, y'all signed. Yeah, we had him. Dante Pettis two years ago. Now I, I like that a lot. So when it comes to us, our off season, it's funny because it's not your typical Packer off season. Like we don't usually spend high money, a lot yeah. of money on no, free don't. agents. No, don't. We usually bring back players that don't need to be. Well, we did that. No, yeah. we'll get to that. But so it's like when you know Packers, we just live up. Packer fans just live up to a dream. Like mm-hmm. we just want every player we see, yeah. like a fan, like the, like what yeah. this podcast yeah. is based off of. But that's never been y'all steal. Never at been all. the mo. Never but, been the mo. And it never. Well, I'm not gonna say it never will be. But what I will say is I that don't. y'all. Y'all front office, one thing I do respect y'all is continuity constantly. Yeah, yeah. Y'all don't have an owner. Y'all exactly. never firing whole. Nah. Regimes. Nah, Everybody man. worked for somebody yeah, before, exactly, and then yep, just get yep. promoted. Keep it and in the, keep it in the, keep it in the family. Shit, yeah. and it's positive because y'all always follow the same outline. Always, it's all it's a it's a Packer structure. Yeah. Downside is you know it's a whole book about how to draft. Yeah. I forgot the name of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it next week. But y'all never been aggressive though. Ever been aggressive? So when? So all Packer fans, we wanted Xavier McKinney. Yeah. As soon as the season, I, like I knew who he was. He was cool to me. But I went back and like I bought ESP. I mean, I bought uh, NFL Plus, and I'm watching all 22. I'm watching them. Yeah. I'm like, damn, he a dog. I'm like, I'm on the bandwagon. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, we not gonna get him, but like, it's good to be, it's good to be in a moment as a fan, right. bro. Like, I'm not I'm not one of the fans to be like. Yeah, I know we're not going to get him, so I'm not even going to think about it. No, I'm going to think about this nigga. I'm, I'm liking and retweeting all the edits of this Everything. nigga in a package jersey. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, cool. We get Xavier McKinney. Yeah. Now, what we do first? Did we, uh, we did, we did. Yeah, we did Xavier McKinney mm-hmm. first. First signing. We gave him a lot of money. It is what yeah. it is. It's all about how, when it comes to the Packers, we structure contracts well. Right. So what a person said they get signed, it, it's good. It's a good look for the agent. Yeah. But in reality, it's, it's a good deal, regular right. deal. Then we got Josh Jacobs. Now, let me tell you this short 15-minute everything. 15, this 15 minutes was the best 15 minutes of my life. <laughs> We yeah. signed Josh Jacobs. I knew AJ Dillon was. I just knew AJ Dillon wasn't coming back. Yeah. We signed Josh Jacobs. I'm like, oh, we got Josh Jacobs and Aaron Jones. Now crazy. it crossed my mind <laughs> how this gonna work. Cause it's two dominant type yeah. running backs that want the ball. Mm-hmm. So why we, need and, and, and then when I seen Jacobs deal, I'm like, damn, Aaron Jones gonna take a hell of a pay cut. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cause yeah. it's like they both want the money. Yeah. Then, 
<laughs> we released Aaron Jones. It was crazy. <laughs> I laughed. Mind <laughs> blown. I, I was pissed. I was in my stomach for about 10 minutes. I was <laughs> pissed, bro. I was so pissed, bro. And I'm like, I get it. Yeah. He's 30. We not finna get him 12 million. No. Not him. He missed no. half of last season. He did. He was hurt. So when I sat out and really thought about it, I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. I get it. I understand. And then I, I, I was kind of fucking with it because it's like Josh Jacobs, he didn't have a good year last year because yeah. of their line. Yeah, it's a lot they of shit. They barely yeah, had a, a quarterback. Yeah, you got Devontae was... Adams demanding the ball. It wasn't a normal situation. It wasn't a – it's a Raider yeah. situation. Yeah, exactly. They have something happen every year. It's a shit show. For the last it's five years. Yeah. So I was like, Josh Jacobs, cool. Yeah. And then him and Xavier McKinney, they Bama boys. Yeah. Got a little connection with them going there. Yeah. And then we – uh, and then – Jones goes to the Vikings the next day. I couldn't stand that. I was. How do you feel about him staying in the NFC North? I was North? tired of seeing him two times a year. I was sick of it. it, it that was short lived too. Yeah. That was a day a short a day yeah. short lived because yeah. you thought he was gonna go I away. Thought he was gone. <laughs> I said the same. I was happy when Devontae got him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I wept when Aaron Rodgers left. Yeah, I you know Jesus that. wept. I can see that. <laughs> Shut up, man. So, <laughs> so, so he went to, and I'm, I'm a, I'm a fan. Therefore, it's like I don't fuck with Aaron Jones now. Like, if you would have went to, you could have went to the 49ers. Yeah. <laughs> you could have went to the Cowboys. Yeah, bro, you went to in division, and we, you, know, you know, our division. Yeah, it's petty. not no, like it's not no Rams, Seahawks nah. type of 49. Uh-huh. That's a petty rivalry yeah, division. Yeah, yeah. This is a real Yeah, I hate you. Rivalry. Like, <laughs> like, I didn't fault Bear fans in college. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is real. You know what I'm saying? No, so, like, yeah, we can't stand each other. So that was crazy. Yeah. So you went there. F- that's crazy. It's so, insane, yeah. And that's why it pissed me off so much when Julius Peppers went there. Uh, and I was a show uh-huh. when that happened. Yeah, I was too. That introduced me yeah. to how that shit makes you feel. It's like, Angry. I couldn't stand Angry. Julius Peppers. Bro. Angry. Adrian Amos? Oh, my. I'm still mad. Didn't Ha-Ha go to y'all? <laughs> Ha-Ha came here, yeah. And I was pissed. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Ha-Ha, you We wild. might as well just swap players. Just, we, because they did it. That was a year y'all apart. Got him yeah. Y'all got him and y'all him. Yeah. I, I, boy. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then we re-signed Dylan a week later. Yeah, I, I wanted AJ Dylan, And that too. was cool. I don't get it. But when I seen what he signed for, it was yeah. under what vet was his minimum. Deal? Under vet minimum, really? It was like a relatively oh, so and so deal. A That's all that. He just, he just, he's a, he the king. Of, he the he king. Just love being a packer. He, he the king of the. He the king of the whatever they. He the something. He a key holder for the That's crazy. Door County or something like That's that. That's nasty. It's so, called Door County. Yeah, Door County. Yeah, Door County is where Lambo. Is. It is. It's, it's, you ever been up there? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Is it literally? It's just a Walmart and then Lambo. Lambo in the middle of the neighborhood. Just in the middle just of the neighborhood. That's crazy. And it's, it's a pack. It's, it's Green Bay. Like, it's not Milwaukee Packers. No, it's, so, it's a small city. Yeah. Green Bay, and everybody's a Packer fan. That's, it's not no Bears fans. Like, it's Packer fans here. Yeah. I would imagine there ain't no Bears fans. Nah, I know in Milwaukee and all the other shit. But for sure. It's, 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 it's like here. Wisconsin as a whole, yeah. Yeah, that's got to be. Yeah, because you living in Green Bay as a Bears fan got to be crazy. It's crazy. Because it's so little. It's crazy. And we suck for a long time. Go ahead. Yeah, so anyway, so <laughs> and then we got uh, AJ Dillon. We re-signed AJ Dillon. We re-signed Keyshawn Nixon, w- yeah. w- which is a cool piece, but it's like I know the deal that he signed for. Mm-hmm. He's going to stay in that slot, corner the corner slot. Yeah. That ain't going to happen, bro. Like, he got cooked last Barbie. year. Abused. Abuse, so it's yeah. like, bro. But I, it's cool though, cause I fuck with Keyshawn, like as a mm-hmm. as a player. As I don't know him as a person, but as a person, yeah. what it seemed like, he it cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's the best. He got all pro uh, returner. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Two years in a row. So it's like I get it on that note, but not the corner. We're gonna see what they do with that slot. Yeah. And then we got Eric Wilson. Uh, okay. We resigned him. That's a solid. That's all of those. Is like that both was of those. Solid. Special teams yeah. players. Yeah, yeah. It's just cool. death pieces. And yeah, shit. and Christian Welch you. too. He, he a death piece. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So how you feel about the Vikings offseason sign? They signed uh, They should have re-signed Kirk. I'm, they should have gave Kirk Cousins. <laughs> if they cuz they've been dying on this this window being open. Yeah. Since they lost, since really since Diggs left. Yeah. They swear that this window was this window has never been open, bro. <laughs> it's they suck. So, Minnesota oh, is terrible. A bird running to that <laughs> motherfucking window for real, for real. Minnesota 2 years ago that was the worst 13 and, 13 and 4, that's when it's done. Uh, what 13 and 4 team I've ever seen in my damn life. Yeah. They were awful. Mm-hmm. 
That team is not good. Yeah, for but sure. But if they was going to do it, run it back. Mm -hmm. I don't think Sam Darnold going to put you over the edge. They definitely <laughs> signed <more>. Sam Darnold. <laughs> John Green, Jonathan Green, Grenard from uh, – from the Texans, and they basically swapped with the Texans because yeah. Neil Hunter went to the Texans, yeah, and, and Green Grenard went to the Vikings. He cool though. He he had a he had a selling. He ain't reached yet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then they got Andrew Van Ginkle that used to play for the uh, the white boy. Used to play for the uh, Dolphins. Oh, long hair, long hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. And then uh, Blake Cashman. So like they did some cool, but you know what they off season consist of though. They. You know what they finna do. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna they trade traded with the Texans. They're gonna trade them. And they, they been them. back and forth all offseason. Yeah, the Texans yeah. and the Vikings. But they, they they traded with the Texans for another first round pick. Yeah. They're gonna package those picks together. And move up and get, get into like top five. Yeah. Top five? Top five. Cardinals. Top five. Bro, you could package both of those and it's more. So, uh, so you go Caleb Williams, yep. immediately Jaden Daniels, or immediately Drake May. Whichever <laughs> Who got number pick? Commanders? Yeah, commanders. Yeah, they probably go. They probably go Jaden Daniels for sure. So I don't skinny or Justin Fields. I don't think we'll that get to that nobody. next week. We'll get to that next <laughs> week. <laughs> but um, third, because you know a lot of the analysts are saying quarterback, 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 wide receiver, receiver, wide receiver. That's bar and trade though. Yeah, that's bar and trade. If Minnesota moves into that top five, they taking JJ, right? Because yeah. JJ just fit in Minnesota. So you use you think. You think uh, Drake May is a definite to the Patriots if if he falls past uh, if Washington don't take him? Yeah, it's definite for sure. Not for sure now, yeah. Jane Daniels ain't a definite for New England if Drake May goes at two. Right, right. I think if Drake May goes at two, Jane Daniels falls out of the top five. Mm. You so you don't think, so? think Jane Daniels goes to the Patriots? No, I don't think that. that I, I can see that. Though. Well, I can see Gerard that. Mayo carrying over it being. A disciple of Belichick, player for Belichick, I would think the team's gonna be ran the same way. That don't fit. I can see that a Patriot move. That's not a Patriot move getting Jaden Daniels. I can see it. So, you think you think the Vikings take JJ? Yeah. You think that's scary for the I NFC North? I think it's North? terrifying. I think it's terrifying if Kevin O'Connell gets everything he can out of JJ. He can. He can. And he did it with he Josh Dobbs. He a, almost beat us with Josh Dobbs. That's a good Dodds. coach, bro. That, Kevin O'Connell's a really, really good coach. That's a good coach, bro, for real. So if he gets everything he can out of JJ, that's terrifying for the entire NFC North. Oh, for sure. yeah. Hell yeah. And they got Aaron Jones in the backfield. Yeah. Justin Jefferson. Yeah. That's a team. And who the other receiver? Jordan Addison. Jordan Addison. Yeah, Jordan Addison. Yeah. And Hawkinson got to come back sometime. Yeah. That's a scary and, team. And they defense did good last year. With Brian Flores. Yeah, and Brian Flores is the best defensive coordinator in football right now. And, bro, and they they did good with a basic defense. You know what yeah. I'm saying? For the most part, it was he basic He just set the house. He was regularly, he was regularly applying And person. they was doing was good, bro, yeah, without, Kirk yeah. without they was Kirk Cousins. They was doing decent without yeah, Kirk Cousins. I, honestly, yeah, they were. They really, really were. So, J.J. coming there, J.J. might be able to take you over the edge. For sure, yeah. Because Kirk Cousins never was. Mr. 12 o'clock was never going to do that. So, did you, do, you, do you like, not like, but do you see, do you, are you confused about the Vikings letting Kirk Cousins walk? Yeah, yeah. I'm confused as hell behind that. Unless their plan is to go draft the quarterback. Oh, for they sure. plan is to go draft the quarterback, sure, I get it. But if, if not, and they running into that with Sam Darnold. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, they have to take And I think Sam Darnold is better than a lot of people. Look I at think, the camera and say that. I think Sam Darnold is better than most people think Sam Darnold is. And it's funny you say that because I feel like Kirk Cousins is better than – he don't like Kirk Cousins. Kirk, yo? No, I'm good. Kirk Cousins is a good quarterback. No, Kirk Cousins, Kirk Cousins is a really, really good B-plus yeah. quarterback. Kirk Cousins, that he just never going to take you over the edge. Nah, yeah, you nah. know what Kirk Cousins is. A lot of people not going to take you over the edge. A lot of people not. You like that? Shut you like that? <laughs> and the Lions. Let's go walk well to the Lions, man. Lions. Yeah, you can start with the Lions. Yeah, when you think you can't do no good better, yeah. they show you that's the Man. fuck we can. Dan Campbell operation Bro. over there is amazing. Bro. <laughs> Savage. They in the trenches for real. He they signed DJ Reader from the Bengals. Yeah. You know him and Eldon Jenkins had a fight last yeah. uh training camp. Like no, they they had like a fight fight. Fist like, fight. Like a they smack they like <laughs> Camilla type shit. Like, yeah. They got Marcus Davenport from the Saints. Yeah. And they That's got a, a Meek Robinson. Uh, that was I don't know. He got a pick against us to seal the game uh -huh. on Christian Watson. Yeah, I, I don't know who that is though. Uh, it's just I just had to put some. Yeah, I, I just had to put some. I mean, 
Detroit didn't have to add much. They didn't, bro. They didn't have to do. I think much. they're gonna do a splash though. You think so? You gotta get a receiver. Who do they have? Name the receiver. Name number two. Okay. Jameson Williams. Yeah, Jameson Williams. He has potential. Yeah, Jameson Williams. If they yeah. unlock it, if they unlock it, and they go into the season like you're one number two receiver, mm-hmm. he gonna get more routes. He gonna get more yeah. open. You know what I'm saying? Get in, in a better position. Mm-hmm. But if they don't do that. And they I, just go wide receiver. I seen a rumor of Diggs going to the Lions. Yeah, bro, that would be yeah the most I craziest shit terrifying. ever, ever. Because that's they don't need it ever. They already got to the NFC. Chain. NFC gonna NFC is gonna be weak again this year too. I'm saying that right time. now. All the time. Detroit's gonna walk right back to the NFC Championship. They might beat the 49ers this year. Oh wait a minute! Slow down. Low down. They're going to oh walk God. to the NFC Championship? Yeah, they're going to walk to the NFC Championship. They're just going to beat our ass, huh? I ain't saying beat y'all ass, but they're going to win. They're not beating us. They're going to win. They're not beating us, bro. <laughs> they're not beating us, bro. Hey, get your shit off, gang. Yeah. <laughs> get let's, your shit off, gang. Let's get this shit out the way right now. <laughs> Detroit will beat y'all. Just like San Francisco <laughs> will beat y'all. Bro, yeah. that's all cute. Fuck the 49ers. People got to, we're going to get it together. All right. But the Lions not beating us, bro. Okay. They probably right. don't even play us in the playoffs. They probably won't because they'll probably have a first round bye because they probably gonna be the best team in the NFC this year. This is insane, bro. <laughs> I think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna take a slump. But like Dan Campbell said, though, like people, they got a target on their yeah, back. Tar- they're running. For, they're coming for y'all now. But Detroit, that operation, you got a burp, okay. burp, a lot of burps. <laughs> All this shit you. The talking. operation Dan Campbell is running up there. They so damn gritty. We all laugh when Dan Campbell came in and said, we coming up, they knock us down, we coming up, bite kneecaps bite off. Bite kneecaps is crazy. That man, goes in there, drinks three large venti pikes a day, <laughs> <laughs> three shots of press on a piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In there, running that team. <laughs> uh-huh. And they, they're, they're going to be really, really good again. Yeah. Because cool. they ain't got no quit in them. They ain't got what? They ain't got no quit in them. You think Jared Goff going to take them over the top? Jared Goff I think is Jared slanging Goff, yeah. that motherfucker. I man. think I, I like Jared Goff He's more than slanging. I like Jared Goff more than most people. <laughs> I always have. Jared Goff. Cool. I think that that team, yeah, they go right back to the championship. They I might go to the Super Bowl. I don't again. see that. I mean, they might go to the Super Bowl. I don't see that. I think they. I think that was their window. I don't think that was their window. They got a lot of cap though. I don't think that was their window. I think that was their window. That was crazy. I think that that, was I got to look at they. <laughs> I got to look at their schedule. I'm gonna bring their schedule in next week. We got to look yeah. at their. I can but, pull their schedule up right now. Go ahead. Say what you want to say about them. I just feel like. Well, they, they so the rank, right rank the division right now. Like rank, uh, who gonna be based the one, off two, of last season or based off of nah, potential going into the season? Potential going into the next season. Four Minnesota. Okay, Minnesota four. Okay. Even with JJ, that you think they're gonna get? Huh? Even with JJ, if they get JJ, yeah, still four. We going right? off that? Uh, if we if they get J if they get JJ, still four. Okay. But um, now the thing with me and you, like our fan bases, I don't know where I want to put Chicago at because. Realistically speaking, Chicago's offense is got it's explosive. It's it can be explosive as hell. It's crazy. With Caleb Williams, you got Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, Cole Komet, Gerald Everett, DeAndre Swift, Khalil Herbert is a home run hitter when he has a bell cow running back in front of him. We saw that with Monty. I feel free Khalil Monty. Herbert. I feel I feel Khalil but Herbert, That has the potential to be one of the most explosive offenses in the league if Caleb Williams comes in and is Caleb Williams. Now I'm gonna tamper my expectations. So so Fuck the small talk. You saying y'all gonna be number? We gonna be number three in the no, division. No, Lions is one. Lions is one. We gonna be number three and y'all gonna be number two. Is what you no, saying? What I'm saying is I'm split with that because I still got to tamper my expectations because Caleb Williams is a rookie. Right. Jordan Love has displayed <laughs> that he can do it. So I don't know if he takes a sophomore slump this year or what, but yeah, I can't really. It's it's two and three, but this ain't this ain't the normal. This was Chicago. We going back into it, running again with Justin. We'll be three. We're yeah. not running with Justin. We running with Caleb Williams. I don't I know what that. it looks like. I feel that. What? Do you, how do you rank it? I rank uh, four. I rank number four. Uh, if the Vikings get, ah, it's tough. I think you're saying no. Now nah, yeah. I think about it, yeah, it's tough. But I say the number four. I say it's y'all. Yeah, knowing y'all system. That's fair. And I then, mean, what? Well, it's a different system. It's a different. Well, you talking about coach. organization? Same coach. I'm talking about coach. Coach. Yeah, fucking Eber, yeah. Right, so we, uh, number four, y'all. I think Caleb going to ball, though. I think Caleb yeah. going to ball. I just think a team's going to outplay y'all. Do you know he has to average 225 passing yards a game just to get That's our record? it. 
I think it's like 128 to get the rookie all-time pass. He only has to average 128 passing yards a game to get the rookie. That's insane, bro. Y'all 13 touchdowns. Real, for real. 13 that's, touchdowns, that's bro. That's tough, bro. It's crazy. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> y'all suck for real. It's insane. Man. You got uh, I hate it. number three. <laughs> I say, uh, I just said, who I just said, y'all. Uh, number three, I got the Vikings. Yeah. And number two and one, that's inter- it's interchangeable with uh, us in the line. Okay. It's it's one or the other cuz I feel like I feel like we're going to take that step, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, and, and y'all should. We should. Cuz yeah, like I said sure. to you before, Matt LaFleur displayed to me he can coach. Cuz y'all <laughs> he used to he used to say Matt LaFleur couldn't coach and it was all Rodgers. <laughs> I said, "Boy, you crazy as hell." Y'all can't There's get, no way. Can't get mad at me though. Aaron Rodgers trying to I could get mad cuz I could see I could see what Matt was trying to do. Fuck. But I'm like <laughs> It's Aaron Rodgers. I know Aaron, Aaron Rodgers. Is Aaron but, Rodgers. But I'm saying I know Aaron Rodgers runs the show, so I could see what what Lafleur wants to do. Mm. But it's Rodgers is the quarterback. You can't do. Look what Jordan Love was doing. Yeah. You think Rodgers would have uh, approved of all that? No, nah, nah. all that nah, jet he sweep. He'd have been telling. He'd have been changing the play You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm he saying. Been I'm saying fuck uh, Lafleur. It ended up working. Everybody like fuck it. You gotta understand though, bro. This is. I didn't believe in any coach. I Matt, Mike McCarthy. And he done got the uh, Cowboys to the playoffs, what, every year he's been there, hasn't Oh, they yeah. missed one time, I think. But I don't think so. I think when You know, Mike years, McCarthy yeah. is a, a, a decent head, NFL head coach. Oh, for sure. Matt LaFleur's display to me is good, but Aaron Rodgers literally been keeping me up at night <laughs> since I was a shorty. Oh, sure. <laughs> kept me up, too. Yeah. So, yeah, I didn't think Matt LaFleur could coach, mm-hmm. but he displayed to me that he can. Oh, for sure, yeah. He made Jordan Love look way better than what I think he is. For sure. Yeah. You want to go into uh, that? No, no, no. We're going to go into the biggest talk of the offseason. Go ahead. Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I was about to ask. You, you, can, take the, you can take the floor on Now. Let's go. No, no, no. I'm not going to. I want you as a Packer fan to explain to me, is this the same thing as it was when we was excited about Justin? Because you remember how excited I was yeah. with Justin. But Justin was the fourth quarterback off the board. I was with you. You was there. I was with you. We watched the draft together. <laughs> And when you were so happy, I said, what the fuck you so happy for? <laughs> it's the Ohio State quarterback. I don't care where he came from. What came out of his mouth was, if these motherfuckers draft Justin Fields, I would be drafted Justin Fields. I would be, I would be pissed because <laughs> no race involved, nobody races. It's like it's a black quarterback going to going a to team. Scotland. Yeah, he was, that's, that's really what you were saying. That's what I was yeah. saying. Like, that's that's the really crazy saying. part. Yeah, that was, it was crazy, yeah. So it's like you said the hype around him. That why like do as I as a Packer fan do y'all do y'all feel as though this is the same thing again? Yeah. Repeat it. You feel like this is just Justin all over again? Us being nah, excited. Hell no. As a my fan base, what yeah. they see, what they think. Well, no, I'm talking about you. Me, yeah. okay, me. No, nah, I don't think it's the same. Now I know your I know what your fan base <laughs> thinks, but they be tripping. You don't think it's the same thing at all? You think the ceiling is way higher? The ceiling is what? Because the pieces is different, bro. Yeah. You got Keenan Allen, like what you just said, Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, yeah. uh, Swift, Khalil Herbert, and Roshan. Yeah. Which I think Roshan could have been y'all Roshan number one. He's, he's, I feel like Roshan, he's, he's y'all, I feel like y'all didn't have to sign DeAndre Swift. I feel like y'all could tell Roshan. You know, and to be honest, if I'm being 100% honest, if he was going to go into last season right. with that running back room, he shouldn't went into this offseason. I, see, I feel like Because now we done burnt $10 million in, in cap. Right, bro. And you got to split all them carries and shit. That's cool. Yeah, but 10, it's 10, like. 10, yeah. Is your coach prepared for that? You gotta come up with hella like game plans for that type of shit. But Shane Waldron, it don't seem like he right. Wants to, I forgot that shot. Don't seem like he court. wants to run the ball that much. Getsy on the other hand, throw that hand. ball. Get so, <laughs> so, so yeah, you got Gerald Everett, and then you got Cole Komet. He come into a way better situation than Justin Fields did. Yeah, bro. way better. To be it's, honest it's with you, different. it's it's way different. It's like y'all defense tough. Yeah, going like ending last season, y'all defense, y'all ain't really play me that many people. Yeah, but y'all defense is young. Like it's the opposite with us. Like you know, the Packers got that young offense. Mm-hmm. Y'all got a young defense that's yeah. some dogs. We got some a young offense that's dogs. dogs. Yeah. So we should be a head to head when we play. But it's like, am I worried about Caleb Williams? A little bit because yeah. I'm so used to y'all being bad. That's so sucking, yeah. the yeah. expectations ain't. And y'all being dogs. It's just yeah, no, y'all yeah. being Damn. actually good. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, Damn good. Yeah, yeah, like, right? y'all actually good. So, yeah. scared? No, nah, not for real. Cause yeah, and I, I don't think nobody in the league should be scared until he comes out. What if we have a CJ Stroud? If he have yeah. a CJ Stroud. 
If he had a CJ Stroud, yeah, yeah, that's gonna be crazy. I might not be okay. No, nah, that's <laughs> man, I wouldn't. Bro, I, and I live in Chicago. I, I want to get a place in Green Bay, but like living here and Caleb Williams being good, yeah, bro. And I wear Packers shit all everywhere. the time, everywhere, everywhere. all the time. Some Packers is on, everywhere. So it's like I wouldn't live that. I wouldn't be able to live that nah, shit down. To, well, I mean, yeah, you could, but you know, it, but you know, ain't nothing like Chicago when the Bears is good. Ain't nothing like Chicago on the bands. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm glad because like when uh y'all went to the playoffs and y'all missed that field goal, oh I was in college. And I didn't have to deal with none of that shit. I, I went to school in Illinois, but it's like still <laughs> like it was like mixed. I don't think I talked for 25 minutes straight, bro. <laughs> bro, I bet my, I, I remember my, like this. my face and everything. I, I bet my homie 100 push-ups. I said, get your ass down and do the fucking push-ups, boy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I remember that doink like a motherfucker. It keep playing, doink, doink. That. But yeah, I, uh, it's cool though. I feel like Kayla Williams gonna be. Uh, that's a good. Y'all did the right thing, if yeah. you ask me. All, not stepping out of a Packer fandom. Y'all did the right thing yeah. as an organization, cause like what you was gonna do, give Justin Fields an you extension. Had to pick up his you had to pick up his fifth year option, and he's not worth that. You can't pick up all, his fifth year. It you don't can't. make sense. And that's what pisses me off about the fan base. Is still to this day, still. they're still split straight down the middle. Yeah. about it. Character concern. They bring up everything but football. Yeah, and for sure, the character concern. I can kind of see it, but every day that passes, it ch- is something different that's yeah. showing that he is not that. For sure, Caleb Williams is the best thing that's gonna happen to Chicago, or is the best thing that's happened to Chicago in a long time. And if yeah. you trade out of one, mm-hmm. I might not be okay. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all no, if y'all trade out of one, <laughs> bro, I would streak. Down the street. <laughs> if the Bears, y'all got my word. If the Bears trade out of one, I will streak down the street. <laughs> I would be so happy. What y'all do with number? What y'all gonna do with number nine though? Nah, we gotta trade out of nine. You think y'all we trade back? We have to trade out of nine because I get it. A lot of people say, "Oh, Roma Dunes, a Malik Neighbor, whatever." Do you think y'all there? need another no. star receiver for no. that wide receiver? Thing? No. I feel like stepping out of Packer fandom. I feel like if y'all. Y'all, y'all got the two pieces, bro. The ball can only get spread so much. That's it. Get yeah. Tyler Boyd or get Tyler Scott. Oh, you, you want us to? Okay. I don't y'all think we need to it. sign nobody either. You don't I think, think y'all need to get a like a wide receiver three? No, just you run Tyler Scott, see what he got. You don't. So you don't. You ain't fucking with uh. Damn, I was just looking at him. Fuck it. But you don't think y'all should sign wide receiver no, three? Run Tyler Scott, resign EQ, Dante e- Pettis. EQ is another. Packer that the Bears picked up, and I like equal name. You say I fuck with EQ. <laughs> if he play like his brother, it'd be crazy. It'd be nasty. It'd be boy. crazy. But, but yeah, I think you bring. I mean, not bring Tyler. You put Tyler Scott in that, in that position. That's cool. I, I mean, Make I don't really watch him. I don't really see know what he is. is. I ain't really seen him much last year. Cut Valus Jones yesterday, but you that know, was crazy. He's still on the Vayles roster. Jones is crazy. He get like one catch every four he games. Won't, he like. won't quit on him. Ryan Bowles won't quit on him, bro. Y'all, y'all go. Y'all but I think cool we though. trade out of nine. Or mm-hmm. well, we should trade out of nine. Yeah. We don't need another receiver. Trade uh-huh. out of nine. Go tackle. Mm. Braxton Jones. Yes, yeah, the same situation that we had with Fields. Uh huh. Coming up on that that yeah. last year the contract. Yeah. You know, you gonna pay him? Exactly. Because he not he not worth. Left tackles cost a lot of damn money. Not nah, for sure. You Especially well nowadays, bro, for real. And Darnell Wright, sure. Y'all in a rebuild. We so you, rebuild. you can restart every clock and spot. We, we've we shown people, mm. bro, our offense is the youngest offense in the league again. Yeah. We got younger with Jacobs. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, so if Joe Alt is at nine, I'm taking Joe Alt. You taking Joe Alt. If Joe Alt if y'all, is at if y'all, nine, If y'all, if y'all draft Joel. somebody at nine, you taking Joe Alt. T- if Joe Alt is there, there's no reason to trade down take Joe Alt. It's no even You want to take uh, a, a defensive tackle? Like Jerry Jer- 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 Vers or something? We need a three. We need a three technique bad, but we'll we'll just, we'll, just, we'll we'll talk about rookie. We'll talk about rookie <laughs> signings next week. But uh, okay, I got a little I got a little game for you. We gonna close it out after this. We gonna close it out after this. What you got? Rank the cores of each team in a division. Okay. So quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end. Uh, that's just the offense, and then we could do a cornerback group, safety group. Okay. We could do defensive, but we are. Who got the best one? Who got the best one in the division? Now quarterbacks. Who? <sighs> rank Who's the best quarterback? No, in rank them. Rank them from each team. Oh, one through four. Jared Goff, Jordan Love, Sam Darnold. 
Caleb Williams, but I don't. I got to put them at that because he ain't played a snap yet, okay. or whoever the hell our quarterback is okay. ain't played a snap yet unless it's Tyson Bajan, which is insane. But you know, <laughs> still would be four. That's I'll cool. rank it. Uh, I'll rank it. Uh, Jared Goff just off of history. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do that yeah. to him. But if we going off last season, play the Super Bowl. Cool, man. cool. So yeah, right. So Jared, uh, I go Lions, Packers. I I put Bears. Caleb Williams. I put Bears. If Caleb Williams yeah. there. If Caleb Williams there, yeah. Bears, Vikings. Okay. I mean not Vikings. Yeah, Vikings. And then uh running back, I would say I'll take this Listen, one first. Yeah, go ahead. Running back, I'll put the Lions. It's Lions one. That's for sure. Lions, Lions is one. one. Uh I put y'all two. I I put the Bears it two. Be, yeah. yeah, y'all two. DeAndre yeah, Shift, Roshan Johnson, Khalil Herbert. Us three and then yeah. Vikings four. Yeah. You um, cool with that? That what makes sense think? to me, yeah. That's the same thing. It makes sense to me. And wide receiver. Chicago. Um there you Chicago, go. Green Bay. There you go. Detroit. There you go. Well, no, I'm sorry. I I just yes. I just let's tweet. not forget <laughs> who the Vikings have. I right? completely forgot about Minnesota. <laughs> Chicago, Green Bay, Detroit. You know, I completely forgot about Justin Jefferson. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Packers. Okay. I'm gonna go. It's not. It's not even arguable. I mean, it's arguable. It's arguable. That's yeah, what. That's what it sure. is. Because it's like we had like six receivers over five hundred yards. Yeah, it was it's, crazy. It's cool. Yeah, it was so crazy. spread the love. Nobody was uh, expecting it. That that our group is better. Like other teams got more star receivers the best than core? us. Yeah. Core. Oh, yeah, yeah, core yeah, is yeah, us. The best core. Then is number two is the Vikings. Number three yeah. is y'all, then mm. four is the Lions. Because yeah. they only got uh, St. Brown. Yeah, that's it. Basically. I, 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 I think it's a bit more arguable. I think we – I think our room is better than you've given it. Like, DJ Moore, Keenan Allen. Who else? DJ Moore and Keenan Allen. <laughs> Tight end. I, I oh, it's yeah, my turn. It's my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tight ends. Yeah. No, 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 no. No, hell no. Damn, we got some dogs in the division, though, huh? <laughs> it's like everybody got it. Yeah. But we're going off core. Yeah. We're going off Go best ahead. one. Yeah. Packers. Uh, I'm sick of the cold. Luke Musgrave. No, no, no. <laughs> Luke Musgrave and Tucker Craft. Yeah. They splitting that, bro. You it's know nice. what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nice. nice. That's it's a nice, nice tandem. It's nice. It is. But then that's when the stars kick in now. Then the second one, it has to be y'all. It has to be. I, I'm sick of the cold. I don't even know right. who the second tight end is on the Vikings. After T.J. Hawkinson. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, let me look. I got it, you, though. It don't even matter, though. I was, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how good. That's how not good. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then, then Sam then, Laporta. And he's dog. He an animal, but who else? Who they Who they uh, second tight end? I don't know. Yeah. I think Sam. Is Sam Laporta better than T.J. Hawkinson? Not for sure. So, Sam Sam, Laporta so is really, a they dog. should be three. So, Detroit should be three. So, it's us, y'all. Yeah. I say us, y'all, Detroit Vikings. Chicago, us, okay. y'all, uh-huh. Detroit. <laughs> that's, that's cool, though. Minnesota. I get it, because Jerry Irving and Cole oh, I'm Komet. sick of that damn Cole Komet slander. Cole Komet, they Cole Komet is a dog. I, I seen someone on Instagram the other day. He wasn't even in the top 10. Oh, they had Brock Bowers in there. And he you talking about that dra- post I sent you? Brock Bowers not he even, even play drafted the yet. He didn't even play the snap. And they ain't have... It's cool not having because we have a two tight end tandem, so yeah. it's like it's like sharing. Yeah, you know it's whatever. But people know when they play us, they like ah, def- we get you know we get tight ends that can block. Yeah, like a lineman, extra lineman, yeah. Mercedes Lewis esque. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we gonna move on defense. Yeah, cornerback groups. Chicago. Chicago. Uh, Green Bay. Detroit, then Minnesota. Yep, perfect. Cause yeah. Minnesota ain't got nobody for real. Yeah. Uh, safety group. What you got? It's you. Safety group. To oh, new signings and two. Yeah. Uh, uh, y'all ain't replace Bo Jackie. I mean, y'all replaced him with uh, Kevin yeah. Byrd. Okay. Uh, nah, hang on. I'm tripping. Anyways, it's it's the Lions for yeah, sure. Cause they pick us off twice a game, boy. Oh, but Chelsea not there no more. Charles went back to Philly. That's cool though. They, you know, got that, they got that Joseph dude back there. Oh, Kerry yeah. Joseph. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He picked out Rogers twice and uh Jordan Love twice. I think he picked out Rogers three times, to be honest with you. <laughs> he ended our <laughs> season with the picture, remember? 
<laughs> Look, anyways, if I was rudely interrupted, he, uh, he, uh, you got the Lions? Yeah. Us? No, oh, hell no. Because I, I don't know what we finna do safety wise. So yeah. it's Lions, y'all, mm-hmm. us, Vikings. I got the same thing. I don't, now, right. the, our whole safety group, that's why I was so hurt when Eddie Jackson left. Mm-hmm. I don't trust. I don't trust Jaquan Brisker. Too emotional. I fuck, with, I fuck with Jaquan Brisker. I like him, though. I like him, though. He a great boxer. I like him as a player, yeah. but I hate that Twitter shit he do. Fuck, he <laughs> cannot get off Twitter. I don't know what's going on up at Ellis Hall. All those wrong Ain't nobody bro. talk to that man. He can't get off Twitter. Not real shit. I don't know what's and wrong with And then what you want to do, linebacker group next? Linebacker group? No. What you want to do? Yeah, we, we can do linebacker. That's all you had? That's all you wanted? I mean, that's linebackers is a cool position. Yeah, I guess you same thing with D-line. Yeah, yeah that's all I don't really... Yeah, I get it. It's whatever. You need people to be good yeah, no, for those for sure. things. Yeah, fit in. Yo, especially if you're playing like three linebackers. You know what I'm saying? You got to have... You got to work off of him. I get stressed out every time we I We working for three, though. We so? do it now. Well, now we finna Every time I think about that <sighs> shit, we running a 4-3 again. Matt Eber... It's crazy. Bothers me. Uh, you got anything else? No, nah, I'm, I'm all good. You got anything? Uh, free Monty. Free Monty is crazy. Go pack, go. Uh, that out. <laughs> that, that's gonna wrap up this episode, y'all. You can follow me on Twitter at GB number four L C A L, and you can follow you know, Twitter, Instagram. I'll drop my Twitter handles. I gotta fix my social medias. <laughs> I'll drop them next week. I got y'all. So yeah, that's another. That's our first episode of Bet Cheese Podcast. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and. Get the word out there for us and uh, just two rivals going at it having a good talk. Is it? Let's that out, baby. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> go pack, go. <laughs>